It's Vlogmas. This year I think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. I cannot believe we are already in 2019 Vlogmas. I'm so happy I did it this year. We have a lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on, but I need to catch up on this first cup of coffee. So welcome and make sure you subscribe. I promise you I don't always look this bad. After I have my coffee, it's gonna be decorating time. I don't even remember what's in these boxes, but I put the pillows out here, that way they could plump back up. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyways, first and foremost, I'm going to start with a primer. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer with a moisturizer in it. Um, my brother's girlfriend, um, she is like the beauty guru, so she's been showing me all of these products, and she let me use a lot of them when I was in Hawaii. Let's see if I can focus that. And I fell in love with them, so I ordered these ones. And if you don't ever want to wear makeup, sometimes just putting a primer on your face helps tone the splotchy areas and gives you like a nice little moisturized finish. So sometimes I just put mascara and primer on my face, but this goes on first. I use the Pacifica Natural Minerals Liquid Cover for my under eye. Um, sizes like this but I haven't used this one in a long time so it's probably filled with disgusting bacteria so we're gonna toss that and I'm just gonna use a bigger one which is kind of annoying but that's what we're working with here this is my favorite foundation it is the Bare Minerals Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. Um, it looks the most natural. It doesn't go on cakey, and I feel like it doesn't hurt my skin as much as the heavier formulas. And I use the Cool Beige pretty much summer and winter. Um, I'm a pretty freckly person, so no matter what makeup I put on my face, you can still see my freckles, which I like. Um, but also just goes to show that this isn't the type of foundation that is super cakey and heavy. Um, you can still see my, I don't want to say imperfections, because freckles are not imperfections. They are part of who you are. Even if the sun did it to you, <laughs> still you. Now I'm going to go 
ahead and use the Bare Minerals Powder. And I usually put a little bit in the lid like this. Do -do 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 -do. And then I tap it, and I have a little on there. You don't need a lot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add a darker powder, which is the same powder, the Bare Minerals, but it's a little bit darker, which is gonna give me a little bit more definition. So make the fish face. gonna use a little eyeshadow a very cheap palette palette whatever um, I'm gonna do a nice camel color right here how many of you are cringing right now this girl doesn't know what she's doing same also why do we make the ugliest faces when we're putting on makeup <laughs> oh, this isn't like too bad. This camera is not as good. Um, and then I'm gonna take a different palette and get a darker brown, almost like an olive. Um, put it right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the white. I'm going to the corner and bring it over. I normally don't wear eyeshadow, but again, it's fun. And if I have to look at myself in a camera all day, I don't want to feel um blah. Okay. Oh yeah. We use this one. The Revlon lip liner a little darker. So. And I need a new matte color. If you guys have any suggestions, please send them my way. All right, so now I'm just gonna do a Revlon Bare Affair lipstick. Very light. It kind of brings in the color of the lip liner, so it doesn't look like it's two different colors. See? Eh. Okay, mascara. I don't do um, eyeliner or any of that. I should pluck my eyebrows, but who's got time for that? Not me. Oh, did I add blush? I don't think I added any blush. I know this is gonna be a shocker, but I have used the CoverGirl Tease Mascara for about a year now. I'm telling you, it's the best mascara you'll ever get. I'm gonna bring this closer. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. <gasps> oh my gosh, ignore my eyebrows. Ooh. How good are those eyelashes? It's that mascara, I'm telling you. Again, my brother's girlfriend, she had an extra curling wand and she gave it to me. And it has different heads that you can change if you want bigger curls or smaller curls. So really I'm just gonna curl a couple pieces in the front and then I will probably put it down in a low something. I don't know, as long as the front looks good, right? I don't have to stare at the back of my head. So I'm gonna have just a couple of pieces and I want to show you guys how it works. It's really cool. So here's the wand. Ooh, did that stick? No. Here's the wand. You can go over or you can go under. I like going over. Also, I'm going to try to start a little bit lower because my hair is getting damaged at the top. Gotta love dyeing it. So you hold it there for a little bit. Hopefully. For a little bit, little bit, little bit. And... 
boom! We got ourselves a beautiful curl. I don't know where this piece came from. Anyway, he made his way in there, so we'll curl him up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I should be an influencer or something. So here's my makeup look. going to set up the Christmas tree. It's something I always do first because I love decorating when I have the little lights up. I've had this Christmas tree for seven years. Seven years. Um, I'm surprised that the lights are on, on there still working. Um, this is probably going to be the last year as my main Christmas tree because I'm going to be moving in April and that means we're going to have to get a bigger tree. Uh, it's just not going to cut it. So this tree will actually go into like the um, dining area or something like that. So let's get started with the Christmas tree. Don't you wish you were like magic and just be like Abra, Cadabra, show me the tree! I'm going to spin around three times and by the time I'm done spinning the tree will be right there so one around the opposite way, I'll get some ornaments. Okay, so, here we go. Whoa. Okay, no more spinning. But guys, we did it. Well, I, the Christmas miracle did it. There's bulbs. There's bulbs. All right, so the bulbs and the ribbon are on. And I want to show you guys some of the ornaments that I've had throughout the years. Um, I'm, gonna, ooh, I'm gonna put these ones on and kind of show you guys as I go. Holiday's box that I have all my ornaments in. Kyle's mom gave this to us the first Christmas we spent together. Anyways, my camera's blinking, so I'm probably gonna go change that battery. But it's where I keep all my special ornaments and I will put them on the tree and then I'll go over a couple of them with you guys because I need to charge my battery. So this haul is over. Um, but yeah, the ruby red slippers. I've always loved. My mom had these on the tree when I was little. And so now I have them and they make me so happy. Those and the ballerina slippers. I think I gotta find those. Um, some of them I showed you last year. Okay. If you guys don't have a pickle on your tree, are you doing your Christmas tree right? You have to have a pickle. And so it's kind of fun because you put the pickle on the tree and you make people find the pickle. It's really cute. So I got the pickle. Um, just more personalized little ones. And anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on the tree and then I'll do like a montage of them all. But I love the little bags that we keep them in, keep them coming back for next year. But yeah, I'm gonna put these on the tree. Anyways, my camera's blinking, so I'm probably gonna go change that battery. But it's where I keep all my special ornaments and I will put them on the tree and then I'll go over a couple of them with you guys because I need to charge my battery. So this haul is over. 
I'm not done, but here's a little sneak peek of the living room. My tree and my fireplace are always my favorite part. Last year I put the colored lights over here, but I think I'm gonna keep it simple and just stick with the um, garland. But yeah, my living room. I'm heading, whoa, my hair looks crazy. I'm actually heading right now to the grocery store to pick up some cranberries and a couple things for Thanksgiving tomorrow. And I know it's weird filming Vlogmas with Thanksgiving tomorrow, but it is close to the last day of December. Um, and the day before Vlogmas starts, I'm actually filming my intro, which you guys have already saw if you're watching this video now. So I'm not gonna be able to film a lot um, for, I, I'm confusing myself on this, but you'll, you'll see a, tomorrow the whole intro um, filming process. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the road and then I'll get back to you guys later. Before stopping in a Hobby Lobby, I went into this new coffee shop in our town called Knowledge Perk. It's a buy a couple of really cute little shops. Um, I'll probably wait to go in there with Becca when we're going Christmas shopping and exploring and doing random things around the town. But I am about to try their almond milk cappuccino. I got the extra shot of espresso, so we'll see. It's really good. Actually, I think this is better than Starbucks, so looks like we'll be getting coffee local. Way to go. I got stuck in traffic. I've been so hungry because I haven't had like the chance to have like a real meal today. And since I had all of that espresso, it was like hitting my stomach wrong. So now I'm having this honey barbecue um, popcorn. And I just want to say, it is so delicious. All right, so I ran inside. I changed my sweater. Oh, Kyle's coming. Had a quick bite of a peanut butter sandwich and now we're gonna go look at new cars. Why do you look so cute? Don't get me on vlogmas. So right now I'm using the hot glue gun to put these little pom-poms on this red pillowcase I got from Amazon. And I have a ton of other little random crafts for the other pillowcases, but I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Here's my pom pillow. I think it's super cute. I love it. It's a little bold. Did you miss my pillows? Did you miss my pillows? All right, I just got home. Why is my hair so red? Oof. Just got home, Kyle and I went and looked at cars. Um, I didn't really like any of them. I hate going to the dealership. It is the most annoying thing ever. We have a couple other cars we're gonna go look at um, on Black Friday. Um, anyways, I am making air fried chicken fingers in the air fryer that would make them air fried. I'm going to wash off my face, grab my computer, edit a little bit, and in the night. So. See you guys on Vlogmas Day 2. Oh, by the way, 
tomorrow you are going to see my day in the life um, during our intro process. Becca helped me film the intro. Ooh, I guess I can show you guys my cranberry sauce. So these chicken tenders that I make are so easy. I coated them in egg and then I patted them in the Ian's um, gluten-free Italian breadcrumbs with black pepper and everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I put them in my air fryer for 10 minutes at 410. And they are crispy and done and ready to go. All right, look how crispy these things are. I'm obsessed with my air fryer. So that's a difference this year in Vlogmas. You're gonna see a lot of air fried recipes, but can't be beat. And I already ate like about a pound of carrots and celery with hummus, so my veggies are maximized tonight. I'm not eating veggies. Right, Conehead? Right, Mom. I was, so predictable. I was like, Becca's driving home. She wants someone to talk to. And it's because I do the same thing. Yes, that's exactly right. Guess what I'm doing. What are you doing? I am making orange, blood orange cranberry sauce for tomorrow. Well, I thought that is going to be delicious for anybody who likes cranberry sauce. I knew there was a pause in there. Well, here's my thing. I hate cranberry sauce, but I like it when, I, when it's cooked fresh and not from a can. Yeah. I hate canned cranberry sauce. Love you. All right, I'm going to have my LaCroix. I'm gonna sit down and edit this vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, and happy December 1st. Silent night, holy night.